Hello students, welcome to our next video tutorial. We are at unit number 5, exercise number 10. Projections of lines and planes using auxiliary plane method. We are at problem number 7. Alright, uh, previously we have seen projections of lines uh, by auxiliary plane method. Line inclined to one plane and line inclined to both the planes. Same way, last couple of problems we have discussed about projections of planes by auxiliary plane method where plane is inclined over plane surface is inclined to only one reference plane. Now, coming to next category, projections of planes where plane is a plane surface is inclined to both reference planes. Right? Right. Uh, look at this question. The square lamina ABCD with 50 mm side has its corner A in the HP. Its diagonal AC is inclined at 45 degrees to HP. While the diagonal BD is parallel to HP and inclined at 30 degrees to VP. Draw its projections by auxiliary plane method. Already this kind of problem we have solved as uh, unit number uh, 4 projections of planes. Right? Where plane is inclined to. Same problem but solving by auxiliary plane method directly. So simple understand the problem given plane surface is square lamina ABCD dimension 50 mm side. Now coming to the location has its corner A in the HP. Corner A in the HP. Diagonal AC inclined at 45 degrees to HP. Diagonal AC is inclined at 45 degrees to HP. While the other diagonal BD is parallel to HP and inclined at 30 degrees to VP. And inclined at 30 degrees to VP. Now so simply I am taking the square. This is square A, B, C, D. Right? Corner A in the HP. This corner. You can see this corner A is in the HP. Corner A in the HP. And uh, diagonal AC, this diagonal, whatever the A, opposite corner C, diagonal is inclined at 45 degrees to HP. Here, 45 degrees to HP. While the diagonal BD, while the diagonal BD, opposite, right, is parallel to HP. Now, if you observe, this diagonal is parallel to HP and inclined at 30 degrees to VP. Now, this diagonal is inclined at 30 degrees to VP. This solution already you have drawn as part of uh, unit number 4 projections of planes inclined to both the planes. I remember it's exercise uh, uh, 9 probably, last before exercise itself. Now we have to draw its projections by auxiliary plane method. Regular method, we have to define the true shape. I am not going to solve by the previous method, I am going to solve directly by auxiliary plane projection method. Right? Auxiliary plane projection method, remember, successive auxiliary views we have to follow. Successive auxiliary views means we have to draw the true shape first, right? And then we have to draw auxiliary inclined plane inclined to HP perpendicular to VP, right? We will get one auxiliary top view, diminished shape. Then we have to next go for auxiliary vertical plane which is inclined to VP perpendicular to HP, right? Where there we will get auxiliary front view. And once again, I am revising you, keep remember. Auxiliary two types of auxiliary planes are there. Auxiliary inclined plane, auxiliary vertical plane. Auxiliary inclined plane is inclined to HP perpendicular to VP, which is used to determine auxiliary top view, diminished shape. Right? Next auxiliary vertical plane, second one. Auxiliary vertical plane, which is inclined to vertical plane and perpendicular to HP, which is used to determine auxiliary front view diminished shape. Now coming to in that perception, right? Whatever the 30 degrees of BD we have expected, make it into 90. Remove the 45 degrees. Now you can see it is on HP. It is on HP. Now provided that one point should be on HP. One corner A on HP. Now if you remove this, it will fall here. Now we are supposed to draw its projection. Projection means drawing its top view, front view for true shape. Top view is a square, true shape. Front view will be a line. Already you have drawn this. See, I'm, I'm, this is a little bit lengthy problem, I am drawing small, small size. X, Y, I am not drawing this. Can't take this shape. So, so, so. What is the each side? Each side of the square is 50 mm, right? Provided 50 mm has its corner A in the HP, diagonal AC is 45, right? Uh, provided this diagonal AC means we are supposed to draw the square 45 degrees this 
which is A, B, C, D. Each side of the square 15. Coming to its frame view, it will be a straight line. A dash, B dash, C dash, brackets, D dash. Now we have drawn its two shape. Now once you have drawn its two shape, what is the next step you are supposed to draw? Auxiliary inclined plane. Auxiliary plane's method. Auxiliary plane method means we are supposed to draw auxiliary plane. Right? Auxiliary plane. Which type of auxiliary plane we have to draw first? Right? We have to draw first inclined to HP. Inclined to HP. What kind of auxiliary plane will be useful when our plane surface is inclined to HP? Inclined to HP is nothing but inclined to HP perpendicular to VP. It's auxiliary inclined plane. Auxiliary inclined plane means what we have to do, right? What are the XY line is there? We will draw X1, Y1 at an angle of 45 degrees. But here it's wrong. Why it is wrong? This is a small fist which we are having in the problems, right? We should not draw this x1, y1 anywhere on the xy, but we have to draw at a dash. Why? Because it's corner a in the hp. Corner a in the hp. So that is the reason. Here we have to select and at that particular point, keep your protractor, draw a line at an angle of Forty-five degrees. This is x one, y one, which you can write it as auxiliary inclined plane, which is used to determine what auxiliary frame view. Right after this, what we are supposed to do? We are supposed to draw perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines to what? A is actually it's, it's there from B dash. C dash, we have to draw perpendicular. Now, after that, we are supposed to extend these projectiles of these perpendicular lines to top view projectiles. So, this is auxiliary top view. Auxiliary inclined plane is used to determine auxiliary top view. Top view, we are supposed to extend this. What is this? 1 to 1 here. Or from here to here, it's something a little bit big. From here. Just extend the lens. Right? Extending the lens will give the maximum. Now this point will reflect this point. A1. Now this this point will reflect B1. This point will reflect C1. This point will reflect D1. Sorry. A1, sorry, B1, this one, C1, D1. Same this one is reflected. Okay, sorry, I am coming to the points. They are reflections. These two points will get exchanged. This is reflection of this. Reflection means B goes B1, C1, D1. This one reflection. Now finally here A1, B1, B1, C1, C1, D1. We will get diminished shape of square. See, see actually this gap is more when compared to this as my hand is not straight. Just projecting. Now you have satisfied this 45 degrees to HP. It's diagonal AC. Diagonal AC is inclined at 45. Right? This diagonal AC. See, after drawing, if you compare, right? This diagonal AC. If you try to draw a line here, that will be parallel to x1, y1, which is at an angle of 45 degrees. Now after that, another diagonal BD is inclined at 30 degrees to. BP. 
30 degrees to BP means diagonal BD, right? Whatever the diagonal you have drawn BD here, for that BD you have to draw 30 degrees to BP. Listen here, same diagonal is not being inclined to the both reference planes, right? If he mentioned in the question, diagonal AC is 45 degrees to HP and again the same diagonal AC is inclined to 30 degrees to VP means then we are supposed to find apparent angle beta as we have found in the previous problem. But here he is mentioning about diagonal BD, another diagonal BD, right? What is his diagonal? Here you can see this BD. This BD, whatever you have drawn line for this BD, you just try to extend this. Now for this, take a point, keep your protractor here and draw 30 degrees line for this line. It will be approximately. Excuse me. It will be approximately like this. I can draw. Uh, this is auxiliary top view. This is now x2, y2. Here it is 30 degrees. This 30 degrees is should be inclined to BD diagonal. Why? What is this? Because here it is clearly mentioned. Another diagonal BD is parallel to HP and inclined 30 degrees to VP. For this, you are supposed to draw projectors, 90 degrees projectors. is to be extended how much it has to be extended see whatever here I have extended these lines or this one that is nothing but a1 right here you are extended this much now here you have to extend these lines what lines you have to extend right can you guess here extension should happen for top view here extension should happen for front view Right, where, where front view you have to extend? To which front view you have to extend? Please look at this. We are we are supposed to draw from x2 y2, from x2 y2, from x1 y1, from x1 y1, right? From x1 y1, where are a dash, b dash, c dash? See, we are supposed to take. We are supposed to draw it here auxiliary front view, right? From x2 y2. From x1, y1, take the front view distances a dash, b dash, c dash means this a, right? When you try to extend, a will be a point, same here, this is a point. I am writing here a1 dash. Now, from x1, y1, x1, y1, see here this distance from here to here, b, d are there. That distance is to be extended here from b. For b, Small length for D, a small length. Now, here for C, this is C. For C1, you have to extend a little bit more. These points will become A1 dash, B1 dash. This becomes C1 dash, B1 dash. See, these, I am drawing cross marks. These are nothing but here. You may get confused. Three distances are there, but here only two. B, D are on the same line. So, from B, one other, D, another. Finally, if you try to join A1 dash, B1 dash, B1 dash, C1 dash, C1 dash, D1 dash, again to A1 dash. Right? 
auxiliary front view final diminishing length see nothing we have done very special but the distances which you have drawn the distances which you have drawn plays a major role what what distances you have drawn you are supposed to remember here writing distances look at this distances are important right for what call for for first distance what is this shape uh, a1 b1 c1 d1 right from x1 y1 should be equal to what should be equal to what a b c d distances from x y a1 b1 c1 d1 first thing which we have drawn that should be equal to a b c which i have drawn double lines same way new new thing here a1 dash b1 dash c1 dash d1 dash from x2 y2 should be equal to distances of what a dash b dash c dash d dash from x1 y1 from x1 y1 see whatever the things which we have taken distances that's a very important right once again please remember this it will be easy for you to understand first drawing true shape front view auxiliary inclined plane at an angle of 45 degrees which is to hp but at point a which is very important after that you have to draw perpendicular projectors from x1 y1 to the adjacent view adjacent what front view which is on x1 after that extend those lines extend those lines from x1 y1 for points a1 b1 c1 d1 of distance a b c d a b c d we will get one shape where this is the projection uh, which is called as auxiliary top view which we have we have achieved from auxiliary inclined plane right this is with respect to the diagonal ac remember with respect to the diagonal ac now why next another diagonal is bd parallel to the hp and inclined at 30 degrees another diagonal here a1 c1 b1 d1 another diagonal is nothing but b1 d1 right you just don't expect same shape is here but it is reflected a b goes top c as usual d comes down now from here draw whatever the bd b1 d1 is there then you just extend the diagonal draw 30 degrees which is x2 y2 which is called as auxiliary vertical plane which is used to determine auxiliary front view now from here again you have to extend the projectors from the new auxiliary reference line x2 y2 you have to draw the perpendicular projectors from the adjacent view for this x2 y2 adjacent view is auxiliary top view so from a1 right b1 c1 d1 perpendiculars we have drawn up to x2 y2 now from x2 y2 we have to extend these projectors to certain distance for achieving our projection projection of auxiliary front view so what are the from x2 y2 a1 dash b1 dash c1 dash d1 dash this points are equal to a dash b dash c dash from x1 y1 from x1 y1 this is x1 y1 here a is a so same distance zero from x1 y1 b d are at some distance so from b distance uh, this is d distance now those distances are to be marked from here same as c up to from x x1 y1 measure this distance from x1 y1 then cut it here for x2 y2 this is a dash b dash c dash from x1 y1 and if you draw you will get auxiliary front view see don't get confused it's not so tough just distances right top view front view auxiliary inclined line auxiliary top view from the top view distances again auxiliary vertical plane right projectors for auxiliary front view use the front view distances from x1 y1 hope you all understand right if you have still any doubts you can ping me at any time right thank you